do Brando com seu estilo. Hello everybody. As you know now, you shouldn't jump on a frozen pool because you'll have to go to OT and PT and other things. This week we're going to be looking at linear kinetics. It's actually uh, the first of two weeks and I'll give you uh, an idea of what to expect. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, go over the material that we went, uh, I asked you to do a couple of weeks ago. And so if you bring the, that work, if it's sort of like a, a semi-homework assignment uh, to have uh, people do some certain everyday things or else look at videos. And I just want you to be able to uh, share what you did. So linear kinetics is about uh, basically Newton's laws of motions, and I covered those, but not intensely as I will for the next two weeks. And this is the basic idea of the physics behind all human movement. So that's what we'll be focusing on. But before we start into that, I'm going to send you this site. It's called the Physics Classroom. And it's a, it's a very good site. It's got a lot of interactive parts to it. And uh, I'm going to ask you to look at the physics tutorial and then the one-dimensional 1D kinematics. And it's just an introduction to the language of kinematics as to what that exactly means. So read this. Okay, you'll get that, uh, you'll get that site along with the, uh, this video. And then... When you get to this, I go back to the kinematics, and you go all the way down to the kinematic equations. Okay, so that means we're going to be doing a little bit of math. If you have a calculator, you may want to bring it to class, because uh, we'll be doing some kinematic equations. These are the kinematic equations that we'll be looking at. You don't have to memorize them. They look pretty foreign to most of you now. Some of you have taken physics. May, it may, they may look familiar. And we'll focus mainly on this one on this one and on this one. We don't really look at this one. It's just, a, it's just a variation yet. So these are the three that we'll be looking at. Now you can read about them and you can look at some problems and equations. You can keep going to the next section and looking at uh, how they solve problems. But uh, you may want to wait till we do them together. Okay, so that'll be the beginning of this chapter on Newton's Laws of Motion. So if you have a chance and if you don't wait till Monday, this is what you should be looking at. This is chapter 6 in the textbook. And you're looking at the first law and the second law. Some examples there of the second law and the third law. I just want you to do that. And don't talk about the inertial principle. We probably won't have time to look at that. That's why this is two weeks before the, uh, the midterm. And uh, so again, bring your uh, the work that you did a couple of weeks ago and bring your calculator and uh, be ready to uh, move around and jump on some frozen pools.